Greetings my fellow gamers and welcome to the Gamers Refuge. Today we're playing Space Engineers and this is Surviving Triton. So um, as you may have noticed if you watched my last vlog I had some issues. So yeah everything looks fairly normal. Things are a little different in here. Um, I got the refinery over to the side. Here let me turn my lights on so we can see. Um, yeah, the survival kit and all is now on the, the back side of the floor over here. Refinery, and then there's our assembler up there with a O2H2 directly behind it. And um, yeah, I got the, the drilling set up, uh, set up really well, and it's working as I want it to. And I've drilled out this this nice little uh, bit right here. Uh, we still got to take another layer off the top, though. But let's uh, let's come around this if we can. Um, the things that are different is, of course, you see the two batteries for the base. That's something new that I added. And here's the assembler with the O2H2, and not one, but two large cargo storages. So, and this one here goes out through the top here and I'll show you where that goes in just a second so let's let's head outside um, you know we got a lot of work to do I have scouted out some minerals uh, some magnesium and nickel uh, some iron over there and uh, yeah that's silicon over there and whatnot and the outside looks considerably different. Um, I'll show you in a second. So we come over here. This is pretty familiar. This is pretty much how we left the drop pod. And the little station right here. The only thing missing is the gun turret. So I've decided that everything out here is going bye-bye. It's going, it's going the way of the dodo. We don't need it. It served its purpose. You know, these machines services are no longer needed. Fuel low. So let's fly back over to the base. <gasps> oh crap. No, 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 no. Fuel oh, ow, critical. ow, 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 ow. Thanks for the warning. Oh. I totally did not realize that I did not have. I don't have my hydrogen bottles. To, no, I don't have anything. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, I stored everything in the, the storage. Let me get my tools, weapons, hydrogen bottles, you know, the stuff that I need to keep from killing myself. Yeah, you can also tell that that uh, Bylan is not in the same orientation. Um, I tried to get it as close to the original as I could. I kind of wanted it, you know, partially slanted to one side, you know, the rings, and that's like the best that I got. I kept getting it where the rings were going around the whole planet with me Energy you know, looking low. dead on. Really? Wow. I'm just not paying attention to my vitals at all, am I? So this was the one where, you know, the, the rings were finally going around the planet in the direction that I pretty much liked. So I just left it. Um, let's go ahead and get some energy really quick and then I'll show you uh, what I did up above. Okay, and here we go again. And as you can see, I went ahead and healed myself while I was at it. Yeah, let's come up here, have a little look. Got this big old platform, most mostly finished up. Got a few little blocks yet I got to do. And here's our connector. Now, why do we need a connector up here on a platform? Well, because in this episode, we're gonna build a mining ship. Haha. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. And. I have two uh, Gatlin turrets up on the top here, and I've already tested them. They they work really good. So we, we get something flying overhead, then uh, we may get it to spawn a drone, get its attention, and fly it over here. And you know this is a nice little way to farm some materials. So, but yeah, uh, and here, yeah, you can see where. The conveyor system comes out through the side of the mountain. Now this setup is 
a little different from before because this is just a straight uh, cliff face. And of course I'm at the bottom building my base into the side of it. Uh, the last one was kind of more of like an L shape, which originally is what I was going for. But, you know, this wound up being the location I decided just to go ahead and go with to try to rebuild everything that was lost. So, and, oh, and in case you didn't watch the vlog, um, I, I was having computer problems, and during the process of me trying to get things straightened out on the computer, I did a, a, a reset. I thought everything was backed up onto Steam, and it was not. So... I lost all my game saves. Um, I was able to retrieve the blueprints from Steam. So, but anyway, you know, enough about that. Uh, the only thing, uh, the only thing else I'm going to say about this is that all this was done in survival. So I did not cheat any of this in. Oh yeah, okay. Well, we need to take and put those up so we can go ahead and grind all this down. But yeah, I didn't cheat anything in. I tried that first. You know, and uh, try to go into uh, creative and just kind of replace everything that I already had. And that didn't work too well because when I came out of creative and back into survival, when I go to place blocks down, it was still placing blocks like I was in survival. There was no material cost, but when I ground them down, I got all the materials back. So, yeah, that was yeah, that was kind of a, a broken save. So. I just I just went in and just did it, you know, the old-fashioned way. I just went ahead and built everything from scratch in survival to ensure that we would not have that problem. Because I don't I don't like I don't like to feel like I'm cheating. I like to know that I accomplished everything in a save because I put the work in to do it. So yeah, let's uh let's grab the rest of these radio comps. And I'm going to say goodbye to all of this. There's that. And I'm not, I'm not using this ship. I'm really not. I mean, I know that with some modifications, I could turn, I could turn this into a flying miner. And it's really, it's not hard to do. The thing is, I don't like it. So, it's going. You know, I've done it, I've used it, you know, as a flying miner, and I really, I prefer just to build them from scratch so that, you know, they're the way that I want them to be. So, not sure if that makes any sense, but... Alrighty, so here we are. Uh, let's go dump this off really quick. And we're going to leave that single landing gear right where it's at. Because we're going to use that. We're going to use that to build our ship. Oh, really? Alright, well, maybe I should... Uh, I should probably be paying better attention to what I'm doing. Let's come in here, get our stuff set up. We need a cockpit. So we're just gonna go with a very basic cockpit. Need a medium cargo. Need some atmospheric thrusters. No, let's go with the sci-fi thrusters. Yeah, th th those might be interesting. So let's go ahead and we'll uh Get our cockpit put down. Uh, this has, yeah, that has the two ends coming out the back. We want to be able to 
pipe in to the cargo tanner that's going to be behind us. I'm not worried about high, um, O2, H2, anything like that. This is not going to be going into outer space. So we just need it here for an atmospheric miner. So yeah, let's let's leave it like that for the time being. Let's get our cargo ready. Yeah, let's put that there. We do need batteries. We're just going to do one cargo container for now. This is just going to be a very small, very basic uh, flying miner. There we go, we'll get one battery up and running. Uh, it's kind of upside down compared to how I normally do it, but hey, it's all good. Why? Right, we'll add that back to the building plan. Oh, because I tried to build that, that uh, conveyor over there. I wound up using a part that the battery needed. Alright, so that's good. Yeah. But we still gotta get the thrusters and all that good stuff. And, oh, we gotta get the connector on this. So let's see here. Back to conveyors and connectors. Here's our connector. And we are going to put that. right there like so. Yep, everything we need. So let's go finish this up and we're going to grab we're going to grab that unknown signal cuz there might be there might be something good. I really hate to pass up uh you know, something good if we can get it. All righty. Well, this is this is starting to shape up. Uh, we just need to get our thrusters on, and then we can move it over to our landing pad over there, and let the batteries be charging up while we get the rest of the the stuff like the drills and you know stuff like that. Oh, we do need yeah, we do need to put us some gyros. Um, we'll do that when we get back. Let's go get this unknown signal really quick. Get it while the getting is good. Alrighty. Oh, I'm about to say, is it laying on its button? That would be my luck. <laughs> uh, graffiti welder. Uh, alrighty then, then. Uh, not really my thing, but hey. What we got inside? Uh, I mean, yeah, we already have an enhanced welder, but hey. Um. Some potatoes and seeds and stuff. Some steel plate. Okay, n not bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna part this whole thing. I'm just gonna get the parts out of the more important stuff. Like that. Steel plate, I am not worried about. And considering you gotta grind those down, you only get one. It's like, eh, not really worth it. You know, not worth the time, rather. When I already have... Plenty of iron ore, and I can make tons of steel plate. So, but I, I will, I will grab some of the other parts though. All right, so yeah, that's all right. We need gyros. I know it's overkill. But I'm gonna put two of them on here. This thing is gonna be super responsive, which is what I want. going that way. I'm going to put more going that way because I'm going to design this miner to mine nose down. 
so and I will probably at the very least want to put a couple of them facing up like so and I might find somewhere else to put a couple more but yeah for now uh, let's let's go get us some energy and get charged back up and I noticed that uh, I'm getting pretty thirsty so we should probably do something about that I got this thing about you know where I don't like to die okay so it, it must automatically just dump yeah okay it dumps it right back to the fruit food resequencer and my water recycler so okay that, that's that's all good couple little bit of synth food yeah because you know yeah a little synth food because you know we, we got a little bit of fallout 4 up in here and honestly people are going to probably think I'm just really evil but I always sided with the Institute so I guess it's kind of fitting that you know I'm eating synth food <laughs> all right so we got all that and, and by the way with the sparks of the future update you know they added weather and yeah they didn't do a half bad job during daytime you know visibility is not bad now at nighttime that's a different story because yeah, you got the darkness to deal with on top of everything else and you know what I'm gonna go in and refill my hydrogen bottles I know I can do it from the connector but I like to refill them both and I have to worry about if I'm gonna, you know, drop, you know, drop down, take a fall, you know, that sort of thing. Because unlike when I was younger, I am no longer made of rubber, so I don't bounce too well, you know, off the ground anymore. Well, looky here, our miner is coming to life. This is what I love about space engineers. It's just, you know, building something and watching your creation spring to life as you put it together. Oh, there we go. Alrighty. Alright. Let's go build this. Probably the most horrible impression of Quagmire anybody has probably ever heard. I apologize if your ears just burst into flames. Was not my intention. But if they did burst into flames, can I grab the marshmallows? Yeah, I, I am a little hungry. I, I, no, no, yep, never mind, never mind. You know what, I'm gonna do the downward thrusters first because the upwards thrusters aren't that special. Then I need the down ones, the, the downwards worse, and I can only save eight at a time. How many guys save? One, two, three, four, five. Ah! You dodo, you need to save that one too. Or, well, put it on the planner. Can't be building a ship and forgetting the parts. Yeah, it's just kind of counterproductive when you go to take off and your ship doesn't fly. Why? Because I forgot the thrusters. Alrighty, well, this is going to take a while. So let's go put what we got into our thrusters. We'll let that finish up. Ah, oh, man, that is nine kilometers away. Well, we can make we can make it with jetpack. I'm gonna grab my money. We're gonna go check out. Um, I believe that's a uh, that is a trader over there. And the thing is, it's not one from my data pad, so I'm not sure exactly what the deal with that is. Because I have one on my GPS from where I got the GPS coordinates on the data pad, and that it is not that one. We're still making yeah we got we got tons of cobalt and you see how much is here and it's been processing the whole time since I started this video actually before that yeah and whatnot and this is all hand dug <laughs> that was fun yeah, I have so much fun making repetitive trips back and forth doing the same exact thing for like an hour hour and a half it was great. I mean, I didn't work on the cobalt for an hour, hour and a half, but overall between cobalt, iron, some some stuff I knew I was going to need. 
because I had to build this gigantic monstrosity. So I needed tons of resources. And you know what? I forgot my money. I can't buy nothing without money. They're, they surely are not going to give me anything on my good looks. See, we got over 7,000. That's just me going and grabbing these, uh, these unknown signals. So I don't think I have any... I think that's all of it. Yeah. I, go up, I go up to these traders and try to buy something on my good looks. They're going to laugh at me. So we, we, we best be taking some cold, hard cash. And you know what is even better? If we make sure our suit power isn't Energy going to run out. Low. Yeah, like that. And we wind up, you know, suffocating. or Well, not suffocating, but we will freeze to death. Yeah, we, we, we don't want to be taken off from the base and uh, becoming, becoming our own tragedy here. Alrighty. So where... Where is it? At? I'm, okay, there it is. I was say I know. I, I, I knew I seen it. It must be only be visible from like ten kilometers, but yeah, you know, I guess it makes sense. Because you know, considering it's not, it's not actually on my GPS. It's just from a beacon. So yeah, ten, yeah, ten kilometers. That makes sense. You know, while I'm doing this, I might want to break out the gun. Which, oh, yeah, that reminds me. We got to build a better gun. This is just a little, little El Cheapo, you know, beginner rifle. Yeah, I got materials where I can make a, a precise rifle. So. Really? You're, ser seriously. Uh, okay, fine, fine, fine better have something good. Did you just land on the side of that mountain? You did, didn't you? Yep, you sure did. We're gonna, you're gonna make me work for this one. You really better have something good in you. What, what kind of pod we got? Eh, well, that's not, it's not bad. Oh yeah, this is gonna be lovely. Come on. Oh, no, I had it. I had it. No, stop it. Stop it. Nope, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, for good lord. Quit being impossible. Hit. Where'd you. Really? Nope, nope, stop it. I don't want this thing blowing up. Oh. I hate it when they do this. Stop. Yep. Oh, I don't want to do that. I really don't want to destroy what's in there. Okay, stop, stop. Do you know the wor meaning of the word stop? Apparently not. All right, let me chase after it. See if I can get lucky. No. Well, eh, I guess it's almost down. Oh, good lord. Okay, you, you, you can stop any damn time. Anytime. Anytime. What do you got? Really? Seriously? 25 interior plate that I could have made in 5 seconds at my base. Well, you better have some really nice uh, outfit choices here. Okay, then. You, sir, are really getting on my nerves. There. That's what I think of you. Alright. Now that we've uh, wasted a lot of time, let's get over here and check out this beacon. All right, we got our money with us, so hopefully they might they might have something good that we can really, you know, something that we'll find useful. Like, you know, the weapons I'm not I'm not too worried about. I can make the weapons, so I'm not gonna waste my money buying weapons. 
But the tools, however, are a little harder to come by, especially the really good ones. ATM? Uh, no. Not right now, buddy. Uh, um, okay. Can I... Do you have a way for me to get inside? Getting inside would be great. Um, all right, this is a landing pad, so you would come up the stairs. Yeah, would you not? Yes, you would come up the stairs. So... Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> There's a pet... Hello, it's the front door. All right, what do we got? Uh, this is a vending machine. So silver ingots. Access denied. Where's the... There should be like a... Uh, an actual thing where you can actually scroll through and see everything without having to push those stupid little buttons. Is this it? Contracts? No. Uh, perhaps this. Store. Yes, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Um, right now we could buy Clang Cola, Cosmic Coffee, Data, data Pad. Um, I'm not playing multiplayer, so data pads really have no use for me. Golding Guts. Um, yeah, I can make I can make my own. Hydrogen. I can definitely make my own. Magnesium, nickel. Ooh, oh, here, here, here we have something. We have a proficient hand drill. You know what? I'm going to take that hand drill. And now it's in my inventory. Cool. Well, th this, this was actually kind of worth coming out for. So let's here go to character tools. And we'll drop that right down there. And I lost my skin. What's this way? Oh. Oh, bathrooms. Well, you know, uh, I don't really feel the need right now, so I guess we'll just move on. Yeah, I'm going to check out the contracts. Because there might be something easy that I could do. And that would give us some money. Uh, bulletproof glass, 323. Uh, I don't think so. No, not right now. Uh, search. No, I'm, I'm not doing searching. Uh, what about this? 54 displays for 24,000. Eh. Yeah, no, we're. Huh, I'm not touching anything with uranium right now. Because I do believe I have to get off this planet to get that. 50 oxygen bottles. Oh, wow. 663,000. Uh. Oh man, how would I get all those bottles? Well, I mean, we got a flying machine. I could bring the flyer. I'm going to regret this. I know I am. But I'm going to take that contract. 50 oxygen bottles. I hope they don't have to be filled. That would suck. Uh, I think they just... Yeah, I think they just have to be oxygen bottles. Okay. Well, you know what? Um, yeah, I think we're good for now. Uh, oop. How do we get out of here? Oh crap! They, they've turned me into a prisoner. I'm like I'm like a mouse in a maze looking for the cheese. How do I get out of this place? Oh, here we go. Yes, I see light. Hey hey! Yay! I made it. All right. Yeah, and yeah, our base is way over there. So we got a nice little flight to get home. Look at that view. Isn't that beautiful? I get to step out here every night and see this. <laughs> Alright, well, in we go. We gotta dump our stuff off, grab our other stuff, and get there and get our flying miner finished. I really would prefer not, you know, shooting video at nighttime, you know, in game. 
because uh, you know I like for everyone to be able to see very you know as clear as possible. Let's get a contract started for our oxygen bottles. So there's 50. That is going to take over 1,300 iron ingots. Silicon might be a problem. I need 156 more. How much silicon do I have? 156. Uh, okay, you know, we're good. We're good. We got plenty. So, nickel, I will need to mine some pretty soon. But, eh, you know, I think we're good for now. Alright, let's turn all this back on. Dump all this in. And let's get out here. And bad weather. We are in the middle of a snowstorm. Oh, of course, of, of course, my energy is low. No, we're going to add that one to the build planner because these are already off. Well, the ones I got finished, rather. Add you to the build planner. Oh, man. Yeah, when these snowstorms kick in, good lord. This is what I mean. At nighttime, this is horrible. Okay, there's base. It's a good thing I have these markers. <laughs> it really is. I mean, yeah, you get up off the ground a little bit, it's like you can't hardly see anything. Alright, but when you get inside, take a look. It's not like it was when the Frostbite expansion first came out. When you come inside, at least at least underground. You know, I haven't tested uh, this with an actual, you know, base built out in the open. But look, everything cleared up. The sound, the storm sound is gone. Now if I get too close to the door, the sound comes back, gets a little hazy. And then you step out, and now you're back in the thick of it. See how it reduces a little bit? I, I like that. That that was a really nice touch, you know, where when you walk outside, it builds up gradually. And you go inside your base, where you should be safe, and you are. But yeah, with the Frostbite expansion, uh, when they first introduced the weather in that, you go inside, and it, you had the bad weather inside as well as out. So. Energy critical. Oh, I forgot about my energy. I'm just, I'm just really, my sense of self-preservation uh, in this video really sucks. Well, I'm talking about having to do a quick swap. Of, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. That sucks. Used up all my ice to fill up these oxygen bottles. Oh man, I forgot. When they're empty, they automatically go in your O2H2. Well, oh well. You know what? I'm not worried about it because why? We live on a planet made from ice. We have ice everywhere. We have plenty of ice. I just gotta, I just have to harvest it. It's really, it's really not a big deal. Alright, let, let's go out here and let's uh, see if we can get our miner finished. Alright, so we have thrust up. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I almost, I almost forgot something very, very important. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, we need more thrusters. Really do. I forgot the side to side ones. So we're gonna put two like so so there and there perhaps all right so let's get the parts we need for these yeah that that could have been disastrous not having you know two different directions that could that could have been really bad here i'm getting ready to cut the cut the thing loose and uh it's like, hey, let's go for a flight! Yay! You, I don't think you ever want to... If I, if I ever start an airline, I, you probably don't want to fly in my airline. Yeah, I haven't even noticed any enemies. Huh. I wonder if it's, uh... 
because I, I ground down some of that other stuff. But I got two Gatlin turns, so my threat level should be high enough, you know, for for the enemies to spawn in. So I was really hoping to include some action in this episode. But, looks like it's just going to be a building episode. Alright, we've got the rest of our components. And we should be good to fly our new ship. At least get it over, you know, to the other connector. So Energy can... low. Oh, yes, yes, yes. There we go. Now, we should be able to get it over get it over here so let's get in here we're gonna set this up and it flies so you know for now it's basic and it will work so don't need this anymore and that is done and we can get rid of the drop pod oh yeah look at that Look how responsive that is. That thing, that thing just spins right around. All right, um, let's change our view. Yeah, I don't want to. Oops. Ooh, yeah. yeah we got enough thrusters on it. Yeah. I don't mean to make anybody motion sick, but yeah, I was just I was kind of spinning around. A little bit there. Oh, you know what? Let me jump out. Is my light? Yeah, my light is on. Yeah, I was gonna put lights on this. That's right. And I didn't. Okay, I can see the connector. So let's spin this around. Yeah, that, this ship's going to be pretty zippy. Ooh, yeah, let's not slam down, jeez. Whoops, it's not tipped to the side. We are locked in. So let's turn our thrusters off. Put our batteries on full charge. And thank you for flying with Idiot Express. The only airline where you might make your destination. <laughs> Alright. So, there we have it. We have most of our ship there uh, let's see can we can we get the can we get a drill on this thing I wonder if the batteries would have enough life to make it over no I'm not gonna push my luck I was gonna say I wonder if I, you know if I load all those uh, oxygen tanks you know if I would make it to that trader but yeah no that's that's probably not a bright idea so yeah, let's let's not push our luck. Uh, next episode, we should have enough of a charge on this to go do some mining, and that'll be one of the first things that I do is turning that mission in. Alrighty, there we have a drill. Hmm, should we do one drill, or should we do many? Uh, I would kind of like to do three, at least three, on the front. Um, well, that one looked good. That doesn't. There we go.
I'm determined to get this mining ship done in this episode. I'd like to get a nice little uh, demonstration of it done as well. Ooh, look at there. I tell you what, man. Yeah, if you get any, you get any uh, any stains on your teeth, that should take it right off. I'm gonna open up my own dental practice in Space Engineers. I will scrub the scum right off of them nasty little pearly whites. I can't offer much in the way of anesthetic, but my prices are great. And uh, y'all happen to hear some background noise? Uh, apparently, we're getting hit with a rain uh, rainstorm is starting up. So, if you do hear some background noise, that's Pretty much what it is, is rain hitting my roof. So try not to pay it any mind. I uh, can't really do anything about it. Alright, let's go get the parts that we need to finish this up. And then this miner will be done. Yeah. I'm not worried about uh, doing a lot of greebling and stuff. Not at this point. The point of this is just to have something that functions. I might do some greebling a little later. Alrighty. We got all the components. Let's get this thing finished. Alright. There we go. Let's uh, turn ourselves up the right way. Um, let's, go, let's go take it for a quick test. Uh, okay. Well, first, I, I, I'm, I'm going to want to detach. Yeah, because I was getting the drills from inside the base, and yeah, that is no bueno. Yeah, let's uh, let's make our group. Let's put drills. That's pretty self-explanatory, I think. If I look at that and go, "What? Well, what was that for?" Uh, then you know, there's there's just no hope for me. So and we're gonna use that to toggle on and off, and we need ice because we pretty much well ice. I kind of blew the our wad on ice because of the oxygen bottles. Um, hmm. Let's go over here away from the base. I don't want holes all alongside the base. Oh, we got like even under heavy acceleration, we got like a half hour of energy. It's not bad. So. Whee! Yeah. First hand view. Ah, oh, there we go. And we don't want to damage anything. It's not going to take long to fill up, I don't think. Uh-oh. Alright, okay, no, we're good, we're good. We're not sinking? No, we're not sinking. Okay, let's see here. How full are we? Uh, ooh, yeah. Yeah, we are pretty, pretty full. Yeah, everything. Yeah, the drill. Yeah, this. The drills are almost full. Yeah, we got enough ice, I do believe. And yeah, there. Yeah, there. The atmospheric thrusters I got. I got eight of them pointing down. They are having to fight a little bit now. If I was nose down, I probably. Would not be able to hold. Let's find out. So let's go up a little. What if I was lean forward? Would I start sinking? Oh yeah. Yeah, those three thrusters would not be enough. If I was to do nose down mining, I will need. I'm gonna need more thrusters facing facing forwards. Oh, well, you know what? That would really... Bam. So... Let's turn that off. Turn the batteries back to recharge. Alrighty. Yeah, not bad. Uh, we do need some more thrusters. Because the, these thrusters are not going to be enough. We, we, we're going to need some more. I need some more facing down. Uh, I might put a couple more facing up, but... I don't plan on putting it upside down, but while we're nose down, it... The... Well! 
Okay. Did I forget to do this? Oh my god. Really? Really? Seriously? I... F did I forget or did they get damaged? I probably forgot. Most likely. Um, I should be able to pull everything through the small ports. Two construction comps. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll get that fixed later. So, I think... I think we're good. So, I hope you enjoyed watching the video and listening to me ramble on and whatever. You know, as always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. And until the next time, I'll see you in the games.